The man had been in the garden all day and felt happily tired. Not a garden you would find today, but a garden which grew thousands of years ago in a far away land. The garden was a place where a man could eat all he wanted from any plant or tree, but one. There was one tree in the middle of the garden you were not allowed to eat from. You could eat from its brother tree, the one which gave eternal life, but not from the one which gave knowledge. That was the one rule. It was the only rule. The one the man called friend had told him this. The man's best friend in all the world had warned him that he must not eat from that tree. Not ever. Don't eat from the tree in the middle of the garden, which gives knowledge of good and evil, said the friend, the one who had planted the garden in the first place. You will certainly die. That night, the man who lived in the garden and who was happily tired lay down to sleep. His best friend looked at the man as he slept and sighed, a faint smile on his lips. <laughs> I might be his best friend, thought the man's best friend, but he still needs someone else. A helper, one like him, only different. Perhaps one which comes from the man himself. A gentle mist fell like a soft blanket and the man slept. The next morning, the sun rose and the mist vanished like a dream. The best friend was not there either. He had worked all night and whilst he was not tired or hungry, for things like that did not bother him, he thought it right to give his best friend and the new creation time to get to know one another. Hello, said a voice near the man as he stirred from sleep. It was not the voice of the man's friend. This voice was lighter, softer. It made the hair on the man's arms and legs goosebump in an excited, tingling feeling. Hello, said the man, turning towards the new voice in the garden. The man saw another, someone like himself, only different. It was a new creation his best friend had made. Now, it was the man's job to name all the things he saw. So he called the new person woman because she came from the man. They were happy together, the two people, and the one both of them called friend. The three of them loved each other very much. They loved each other in different ways, but somehow in similar ways. Intimate, close. The three could rely on one another. The three could laugh together. The three knew each other beyond what words could ever say. It seemed nothing could change it. Ever. Not ever. And the three always wanted it to be that way. So long as the man and woman obeyed just the one rule. Rule.